Have you been humbled by the Nintendo World Championships NES edition, thinking you were just going to bust it open, pop it in your Switch, and S-tier everything in one sitting? Yeah, me too. But I tell you what, I think I know why we're struggling. Let's talk about it. Today, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on Nintendo World Championship NES Edition and more specifically, why we may be struggling with it. If you're watching this, I'm going to guess that you've discovered this game. A friend told you about it. A YouTuber told you about it. Someone told you about it. You picked it up. You're in love. You've probably been playing Nintendo for a long time. If you're in my age group, you've been playing it for decades. So you figured you were just going to fire this thing up and S-tier everything and call it a day. And you're found yourself maybe a couple hours a day a few days in and boy you're getting your butt kicked well me too and I thought about it I sat back I had a nice tall glass of sarsaparilla took a nap and I think I've got three things that you need to consider uh, before you really take your foray into speed running seriously particularly as uh, relates to the NES uh, NWC edition so the first tip I want to mention is controllers that's right. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you do want to jump both feet in into this wonderful world of speedrunning, the first thing you're going to have to do is do an assessment of your hardware, your controllers. Now, the first few days I was playing NWC, NES edition, let's just call it NWC for short. <laughs> From this point forward, I was using my trusty Joy-Cons here, and they've been ha I've had these for a few years. They're a little uh, rough around the edges they've got that famous uh, Joy-Con drift you get the drill and I realized I don't think I was getting the type of control I'm gonna need we'll be elaborating on that in just a bit and so I went through and I uh, looked through my box of controllers and I realized that when the original Nintendo online NES stuff came out Nintendo released these amazing authentic uh, NES controllers uh, I would highly recommend you consider upgrading to them if you really want to be serious about this. If you're watching this at the time we originally released the video around the 27th of July, uh, good news, Nintendo has made another run of these that you can get at retail and actually 20% off that, assuming that you subscribe to Nintendo Online. I imagine most people watching this probably do, so don't pay a scalper on eBay a ridiculous amount of money for these now if you're watching this in the future you know chances are nintendo will from time to time remake these so uh still check with nintendo before you pay too much for these having said that i highly recommend you consider upgrading your controllers so now you're sitting there brand new controllers in hand what next well one of the most important things you have to consider again when you want to master nwc and if you choose to get into speed running in general and that's what i like to call retraining your brain you know what i'd like to do here is use as an example of my point the very first uh trial or uh the task that they've provided in this game for super mario brothers one called mush zoom consider it the world one dash one of this uh of this particular title uh and what i'm going to do here for a second is let's go into the game and play through that quest a few times because it's going to illustrate the points i mean about retraining your brain Okay, so here we are in Mush Zoom, and to get that S tier, you're going to need considerably less than the 4.66 seconds that I've achieved this. They've got tiers ranging from the C to Bs to As, like A, A+, A++, and then only after you've gotten faster than A++, you get that coveted S tier. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. This shouldn't be too difficult, right? All right, we're going to go ahead and try it. We're going to do the things we feel we need to do here. Uh, okay, we got up, oh, up, oh, oh, and as you can see here, see, I jumped at the wrong time. I hit the Goomba. Now, they do uh, rewind time, but I found that what you really want to do here is go ahead and hit both the L and the R buttons to restart. So, okay, here we go. That sh this shouldn't be difficult, right? Oh, wait a minute. 7.23 seconds so you can see i'm playing this coming from the perspective of a casual player who's played super mario one for like 30 years so i mean you know you want to you want to probably jump on the goomba guy and you want to get the block 
Uh, but I'm not having a lot of luck doing it quickly. Again, I'm using the thought process of how you, you play this game. Oh, oh, as you can see here, I hit the wrong block. Uh, and this is something that you do in a casual game. You miss that the, the question mark block. You hit the next one. You have to go back. Then you have to figure it out. Well, here's the thing. I, I bring you some of my missteps in this game for a very specific reason. One of the things I understood I was going to have to get better at if I wanted to master not only Mush Zoom, but speedrunning in this title in general, was the movements of the characters. For example, when Mario jumps, you can you have him jump different heights depending on how you press the A button and when you press the A button. And when Mario comes down, he kind of skids forward a little bit. If you're going to go from being a casual player of the game to a speedrunner, you have to retrain your brain to not just press the A button to jump, but to move the character in the opposite direction that he's going to stop his momentum and stop skidding the moment he hits the ground. You're going to have to master additional movements like then quickly doing another jump to get up over over that question block to get the mushroom and you're going to have to do them like really well and, and really retrain your brain to just instinctively do these more precise movements when you're playing the game you can't just approach the game like you approaching it again for maybe 30 years that's the number one thing that i don't think that anyone tells you when you watch these tutorials or these you know recordings of s tier runs is that you are going to have to remaster every little precise movement of Mario, or for that matter, the other characters in the games. But there's more to it. It's not just having a good controller. It's not just re, uh, retraining your brain. I figured out the third part of this that we have to consider when I sat and said, okay, I'm not having any luck. What does it look like when someone way better than me does this particular speed run? So what we're going to do is take a look at YouTuber Abdallah Smash, who has close to a million subscribers, and for a reason, he's one of the best gamers on YouTube, and he went ahead and S-tiered everything in the game. So let's take a look in his playthrough for that very first quest, the Mush Zoom, and take a look at how he approached it. Difficulty one star. Get the super mushroom. How hard could that be? How hard could it be? Here we go. Got it. Yes. Yes. And so there you go. <laughs> so that's the interesting thing. He just made it look effortless. But I realized as I watched through his playthrough a couple times, there's something very specific that's important here. Not only did he master, and I'm sure he's probably mastered long before this game came out, the precise ways to move Mario to control the jumps, to control his momentum, his inertia after the jump, to get in a position for the mushroom. So the third thing that we have to keep in mind is not only do we have to retrain our brains, these games, these little mini quests are a puzzle. You see, it's not just doing the movements, it's figuring out the exact locations to do the movements. And that's what makes this so fun and engaging. I think once you master the art of playing the games, you get to figure out for each of these 150 quests, well, exactly when do I do this thing or that thing or bring this skill to four? And that's what I think is cause this to become such an overnight sensation. Everyone's getting into it. It's like chess. It's easy to learn. It's very hard to master. Please don't feel bad. Don't feel down that you're struggling to get the S tiers like you see all these YouTubers get. Understand as well that even these very high-end players, you're watching uh, super cuts. You're watching clips of them playing hours and hours and hours on end in only their best runs. So that's the thing. The magic taken from a YouTuber is in the editing. They're not that great either, despite what their playthroughs will make you look at. So in conclusion, get yourself a better controller. Sit down, relax, clear your mind, relearn the movements, be willing to put in the time and the hours to master the movements for each of these games. Think them through. Now you can figure out the timing for yourself. You can watch a playthrough, but then go for it. And I guarantee you, a lot of you folks are going to S-tier it. I just know it. Hopefully, I will too. Feel free to watch the channel and my ongoing streams as I do that quest. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy watching me do my thing. And I'll see you next time on It's All Dug and Games.